The shadow of Fu Manchu. Based on the story by Jack Roma. Regarding the warning sent by Fu Manchu, Dr. Petrie joins Nalan Smith and Inspector Weymouth in their effort to save Bert, the New York ex-detective, from the coughing horror, the mysterious, savage creature with abnormally long arms and steely fingers with which it strangles its victims. In spite of their watchfulness, Bert is killed and the creature escapes. Nalan Smith and Dr. Petrie, back in their Baker Street quarters, are awaiting news from Inspector Weymouth. Immediately the thing got away, Weymouth noted into what meant to arouse the district and organize a search. With a severed arm and loss of blood, to say nothing of the wounds I gave it, its capture is only a matter of time. Well, what was it, Nayland? Do you know? I have a good idea. Have you ever heard of the Amharan? Oh, they're a native tribe of northern Africa, aren't they? Of Abyssinia. They're the ancient tribe, said to worship a sacred baboon. Ah, a baboon! Strength in so small an animal. This particular species is noted for the incredible strength of its arms, and its powers of scent are equal to those of a bloodhound. Hello. Oh, yes, Weymouth. Well? Oh, nothing, yes. I see. Yes, that's very likely the case. All right, Weymouth. Good night. Well, that's that, Peter. He reports absolutely no trace of him. But it couldn't have vanished in thin air. Oh, it's probably crept into some inaccessible hole to dive its wound. Have you any idea how it was brought to the farm? I should say in a motor car. The sound of our shots would naturally warn whoever was in the car. They'd make good their escape. Mm. Another of Dr. Fumanchu's uncanny pets, Nayland. And one most difficult to control. You could tell that by the dead Burmese, its keeper. But now, Peter, let's visit that antique shop you were in. On the museum street. Come along. Here's Museum Street, Peter. Stop here, driver. We we'll walk from here. Shall I wait, sir? No, we won't need you further tonight. Thank you, sir. The man will no doubt recognize you, Peter. Probably. However, I'd like to keep him occupied while you examine the valve. That, among the other things. Nishi Co. Incorporated. Is this the place? Yes. And the vase, if it hasn't been moved, is at the front back of the shop. Take it to from me once we're inside. Come on, we'll go inside. Yes, the vase is still there. Here comes the Japanese. Yes. Is there something I can show you? No, thank you. Nothing in particular. We'll look around a bit if you don't mind. Please, gentlemen. If you wish information on special articles. I shall be there. Thank you. Well, these Egyptian scarabs, Petrie. Oh, uh, this car 
boat. I, I don't quite place the date, but uh, Egyptian, isn't it? Uh, yes, Mr. Scott. It is authentic motto of Sekhet's boat, used about time of Ramesses II. That motto actually comes from tomb of Pharaoh. Have you any other models aside from this? None, sir. But that is exceptional, too. I say, may I examine the silver Buddha in that open case behind the counter? It is not for sale, Mr. Scott. Not for sale? Well, why not? You have it on display. It has already been sold. Uh, we are merely holding it for purchase. I see. But there's no objection to my examining it, is there? It? it is not for sale. Perhaps another statue. Well, if the Buddha's been sold, that's that. However, I would like to look at it. It appears to be very old. I tell you, it does not... Why, it's attached to woodwork. Well, Joe, the handle. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know it was the handle of the door. I don't know and clever, eh? It really is a door. It's a flight of stairs leading up. Quite interesting. Please remain standing as you are, gentlemen. Hang on. The pistol. The mine him, Peter. Look at the head of those stairs. Good evening, Mr. Smith. Dr. P. Smith. Do not stand on ceremony, gentlemen. Please come up. Go. Quickly. With your servant's pistol at our back, Fu Manchu, we have no choice but to accept your invitation. Come on, Petrie. Close the door, Mr. Gore, and be stopped. Come up, gentlemen. A son here you have met once before. These others are also members of my household. Come in. Perhaps that time it were better if we made sure our friends are an arm. Nothing, Master. I'm very good. I appreciate your faith, gentlemen, and my good intentions. But you will forgive me if I must inconvenience you. The handcuffs are found, and see that our visitors are securely fastened to those rings in the wall. Why all the precautions? There doesn't seem much chance for our escape. You shall see presently. Hassan, you may leave me with my guest now. You too, Ali. Dr. Petrie, you are aware of my esteem for your attributes, and you will appreciate the pleasure your visit affords me. I'm sorry I can't say as much, Dr. Petrie. Mm -hmm. A pity. Inasmuch as I look to you when you have overcome your prejudices to assist me in my work. I have already told you, Fu Manchu, that I should rather die than assist you in any undertaking. That shall be remedied, Doctor. Even now I am conducting an experiment that will convert you from your misunderstanding of my true motive and adjust your perspective. You mean... Uh, nothing difficult, Doctor. Merely the injection of a certain fluid into the spine. You will thereafter see eye to eye with me. Now, gentlemen, I must leave you for a time. When I return, we shall conclude our little experiment on Dr. Peter. <laughs> mm. Pleasant prospect, Nathan. So you will. There's only a curtain between us and this room. But I use some of the liquid he himself discovered. But it came from his own supply. He believes me to be a wizard of chemistry. I'm wondering, even though you told him the truth, if it would relieve the situation as far as you're concerned. Probably not. However, I couldn't think of the academy. Heaven knows what he might be doing. She gave me the liquid, do you remember? Oh, yeah. On that. Well, the same reason that you told it, but... I'm coming. I'm in the next room. I have a bunch of keys. Hey, Joe, look. Come in. Who went to that farm of Those keys explain it. If I get hold of them, Although I might not understand why, I would have been your friend. 
Isn't it a bit late for that, Karen? Late? Oh, I do not understand. Not by word or by looks have you, Dr. Pepe, asked for my friendship. Nevertheless, I did it to prove to you that I am not as you think me. You will not trust me, but I will trust you. I have these keys. There, you are free. And you also, Melanchi. Now, come to the window. Look out there. Mm. The street's deserted. Yes. But what's she doing with that cord she's pulling in? By Joe, it's looped over the telegraph wires over the center of the street. Now what? A rope fastened to the end of the cord. A crossbar at the end of the rope. I think I understand. Clever, Peter. Hold to this crossbar. Make sure there is no one down there in the street. Then swing across to that open window in the building opposite. Swing across? Yes. The rope is just long enough to carry you into the window. The mattress inside on the floor will break your fall. I understand. Let go of the bar the moment you're in that window, Peter, or you'll swing back. And you'll get out of that house, Caramay? Yes, the doors are unlocked. Thanks, Caramay. I believe you're a friend, but I don't understand. Won't you try to help me? Look, Peter, down there in the street. Two men, too. He's, he's seen us. But he has not seen me. I have helped you. Now you must help me. Save my life. Come. Don't put the handcuffs on me. Quick. Yes, Caramay. Hurry, Nolan. He's coming in. Yes. There, Caramay. There are the handcuffs. Yes. Now a gag. Anything. Now this will do. There. Goodbye and good girl. All right, Petri. Let go of the crossbar as soon as you're inside that window across the street. No time for that. We have to make it together. Pray heaven the rope will hold us both. Come on, Petri. Jump her! When I get the word, let go. Now! I told him we made this. Look out behind you. Hey! I have his arms. Let him have it. That'll hold him. Hurry, Nellum. One of them swinging across. Come on. Not that door. The back. Oh, blast it. We're in a courtyard. That high stone wall. Here they come. All of them. Quick. They're caught, Nathan. Not yet. The wall, Petri. Run. It's our only chance. <laughs> Two. Mm-hmm.